Who's scruffy looking? What is up, my fellow nerds and gangsters? So, if you haven't heard already, we have issued callbacks for Vader and Sidious's roles. It was from almost 300 total auditions just for those two roles. Wish we could cast everybody. From there, we're gonna choose the top Mama Jama to do each of those roles, both, both body and voice. And so today, I wanna to talk about something that's a little bit different, but it's something that's been in my mind. We all know that the big, bad, grand Apple Thrawn was of the Chiss species. And I think that Darth Plagueis should also be a Chiss. Now, I know he wasn't in Legends, but let's face it, with the Disney retcon, anything can change. I mean, do you remember how Luke used to be cool? That was a cheap move. Anyways, in the new book, Thrawn Alliances, the legendary Timothy Zahn gives us a new force power. Essentially, it is the ability to pilot a ship through hyperspace without the assistance of a Navi computer. And so all those problems mentioned by Han, about precise calculations, we'd fly right through a star or bounce too close to a supernova, are pretty much a non-issue because the Force user can avoid those things while flying. Thrawn's species, the Chiss, called a Force user with this ability a Skywalker something that Thrawn himself points out when he meets Anakin during the Clone Wars. So what does this have to do with Palpy Boy's master Darth Plagueis? Well, in this theory, I am straight up saying that Darth Plagueis, or Palpatine, created Anakin through the Force. He could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. It is possible he was conceived. Rick McCallum basically said that this was the case in the commentary of Revenge of the Sith. And plus, we have this little excerpt from the original draft of Revenge of the Sith. I have awaited all these years to fulfill your destiny. I arranged for your conception. I used the power of the Force to will the Midichlorians to stop the cell divisions that created you. You can almost think of me as your father. Now, I can certainly see Palps taking a little bit of responsibility for what Plagueis did because, well, Palps is gangster like that. So if Plagueis created Anakin through the Force, then he would have needed to do it somewhere where the Jedi would not take notice. Had he been born in the Republic, we would have identified him earlier. Tatooine was basically the armpit of the galaxy, so that made a lot of sense. But he also needed to find the correct person to impregnate with the Force, which leads us to Shmi. And I think it was because she had the last name Skywalker. I'm a person and my name is Anakin. If Plagueis were a Chiss, then that name Skywalker would have had a profound meaning to him. That meant that someone in Shmi's distant past clearly had amazing piloting abilities to warrant the name Skywalker. It was most likely given as a nickname, but over time, that nickname eventually became an official last name for that family line. I'm Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. So when Plagueis found Smee Skywalker, that must have meant that she was an excellent bet to basically create the Chosen One, for the Sith, that is. Further evidence that Plagueis is a Chiss is because Palpatine, when Emperor, takes so much interest in Thrawn. To be perfectly honest, I've always thought that it was a little too easy that Palpatine accepts this Chiss from the unknown regions and puts him in the military and invests so much time and effort and confidence in him. But if Palpatine's master, Plagueis, were a Chiss, then Palpatine certainly would have known the great abilities of the species, which would have given them extra confidence in Thrawn, because he would have seen all of those things manifest in his master, thereby giving Palpatine a reason to trust this alien that he had no reason to trust, really, let's be honest. So going back to Shmi, if she were truly a descendant of legendary Skywalkers and the Chiss Plagueis purposely chose her because of that, then that has freaking huge implications for the galaxy. I want a story of how she got that last name and how her ancestors helped pave the way for the galaxy to receive Anakin. Whether the Force created Anakin or Plagueis created Anakin, I believe it's because his family had a much more Force-filled history than we ever previously thought. Force is strong in my family. There are no coincidences in good storytelling. And I really think it would be a mistake for Disney to write off this new force power called Skywalking as a mere coincidence that Anakin also has that last name. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Please subscribe to the channel, share the channel, and my next video will probably be another production update for Star Wars Theories Vader Fan Web Series. Don't do anything I wouldn't do twice. See you next time.